In this video, we're going to react this aluminum can with this awesome crystal. It's called copper to sulfate. And stay with me because at the end of the video, we'll expose the secret material on the inside of the aluminum can. So watch as I add this copper to sulfate to our aluminum can. Stand back. Okay, that was a little bit disappointing. We probably need to add the copper two sulfate to water to dissolve it in water and make it aqueous so those copper two ions can react with the aluminum. Let's do that. So I've put my copper two sulfate in the water and now you can see the white thing, that's my stir bar. I'm gonna turn on the magnetic stir and we're gonna start stirring. And that's gonna break the copper two sulfate, that blue crystal, apart into Cu2 plus, that's the copper ion, that's what makes it blue, and SO42 minus, the sulfate ion. Now, when we put the can in, the aluminum should react with that copper two ion. So we have our shiny aluminum can, we put it in there with those copper two ions and the sulfate ions. And the reaction starts pretty much immediately. If we kind of zoom in and look, we'll see bubbles forming. Bubbles, they're a sign of a chemical reaction. And if we wait just a little while, a dark substance will start forming on the surface of the aluminum can. That's the solid copper. What's happening is that the aluminum, it's losing electrons to the Cu2+. The Cu2+, it then becomes neutral, just Cu, solid copper. That's what we see forming. The aluminum, it's lost electrons. It becomes a positive ion, and the aluminum ion, that goes into the water. It's dissolved in the water. The can itself, it disappears. So we let this go. The copper two ions, they're exchanging electrons, becoming solid copper, and the aluminum, it's becoming the aluminum ion. It's dissolving into the water. And if we leave it overnight and come back, this is what we'll see. The blue color, those copper two ions in the liquid, they're gone. It's clear now. And the copper, instead of copper two plus, we have copper solid at the bottom of the beaker. The aluminum can, it's almost all gone. All that's left is that secret material on the inside of aluminum cans we talked about. And that material is plastic. Essentially, when you're drinking out of an aluminum can, it's a plastic bag surrounded by aluminum. But now, all the aluminum is dissolved in the water. And how do we know it's in the water, though? We can't see it. It's clear, unlike that copper two ion. If we let all the water evaporate, then we'll see it. That white substance at the bottom of the beaker, that's the aluminum sulfate. It becomes a solid once the water's gone. So that's solid aluminum sulfate, all the white on the top. And if we turn the beaker over, we'll see the copper. So the white, that's the aluminum sulfate. And those dark areas, that's the solid copper. This is Dr. B with the reaction of our aluminum can with copper to sulfate. Thanks for watching.